So over the next uh, six to 12 months, I think the most important thing for Japan is to be able to deal effectively with uh, several countries that it has close relations with, in particular the United States, China, Russia, South Korea, and North Korea. So I think what's really important is for the U.S. and Japan to work closely on both the economic side as well as on the security side to uh, strengthen the relationship. And in particular on the economic side, since the TPP is no longer going to be uh, uh, pushed by the United States, I think Japan needs to uh, work closely with the U.S. on the U.S. request to have uh, bilateral uh, economic discussions. Because the Trump administration is uh, thinking seriously about infrastructure investment in the United States, I think there's a lot that Japan can offer in terms of uh, infrastructure, in terms of uh, the technology. Uh, and so I think, um, yeah, I mean, I think that, that would be an area where the U.S. and Japan can cooperate significantly, and it would be seen as a major contribution by Japan to the United States, including things like high-speed rail, well, I think that Japan is quite unusual. <laughs> There's, uh, I mean, every country is different, but uh, based on my experience working with a number of different countries around the world, uh, Japan does have some uh, distinctive characteristics, uh, including the language. Uh, so I think what's really important for those uh, non-Japanese who want to work in Japan or with Japan is to fully understand, uh, not necessarily be able to speak fluent Japanese, although that would be preferable, but also, but basically to understand the mindset and the, uh, the, the approach uh, to the world and to society the Japanese have, which is, I think, can be quite different. I mean, it obviously depends on the individual, but overall I think that Japan is one of the more difficult countries to understand because it has this combination of uh, the kind of the scientific and the um, uh, technical sophistication of uh, other industrialized societies, but it also has the history and culture that is uh, uh, Asian and distinctively Japanese. So I think to really understand Japan uh, is not easy.